The global apparel industry is one of the largest industries in the world. Literally hundreds of billions of dollars a year are imported to the U.S. There's a significant shift going on in the industry right now. Traditionally, China has had the largest market share and most of the companies use China for their manufacturing needs. In recent years, China has gotten more and more expensive and because of the price increases, less and less relevant in the industry. And that forces companies to look outside of China and find sources that are more cost competitive. Ghana and other African nations have a great opportunity to get into the apparel industry and really make a mark. A country like Ghana has a very large employment base and relatively inexpensive labor cost, but they don't have the expertise in the industry that has been developed over 20 years plus in Asian countries. We are located in Ghana, in the capital city, Accra. But for textiles, we rely on Asia. So we have an office in China and we buy all our raw materials from China and ship them to Ghana to make the finished product there. Our business basically bridges the gap between what global buyers are looking for and need for their brands and what Africa currently can offer. The African Growth and Opportunity Act is a free trade agreement between the U.S. and Sub-Saharan Africa and is really the key driver for us to be where we are with our manufacturing operation. AGOA has literally been critical to the success of the apparel industry in Africa and in Ghana. Without it, there would be no industry today. Ghana is the ideal business destination. Having an available workforce, sound political climate, and the soaring investor confidence in the economy. There were a number of reasons we started to focus in on Ghana. We wanted to be somewhere that was politically stable, and Ghana really is at the top of Africa in terms of that. We wanted to look at West Africa as opposed to East Africa because of the transit time that it takes for finished goods to ship from East Africa to the U.S. There are other attractive things about Ghana specifically, the level of the workforce, they are English-speaking. We feel like we found the right place. Dignity DTRT is an apparel manufacturing company with local and foreign partnership. It has effectively combined knowledge of the local terrain with deep understanding of the culture values on the local front and foreign expertise to run the factory effectively. Partnering with our partner in Ghana has allowed us to move quicker and grow faster and do more than we would have on our own. The apparel industry is kind of an evolving industry in Ghana at present. Even if you were already doing stitching on your own, you need to be able to be retooled or refined to be able to produce a quality garment. As a result of the work DTRT is doing together with Dignity, a whole lot of people have been trained so far to be able to make us more competitive in that regard. We've brought expats with 20 to 30 years experience each to head each of the functional technical areas and to train and pass on that knowledge to the locals that work for them. A person has not seen a factory, does not know how scientifically and technically manufacturing is done. So when we recruit our people, our employees, we'll ensure that a thorough training is being given to the person. For an example, in the cutting department, we already have about six local cutters. And cutting is not an easy thing to do. It's very precise and the focus, the concentration which you need to emphasize, it's great. DTRT's mission is to become the largest apparel manufacturer in West Africa by establishing our own social compliance standard. DTRT stands for Do the Right Thing. We want to use the apparel industry to do good. It has an ability to go into countries where there is very limited opportunity, where there's very limited skill available, and we can train people very quickly and offer career opportunities to people. We have recruited several hundreds of people who, in my opinion, will not have a decent chance otherwise. People without skills, people on the streets. 
people who do not have that kind of education that can get them an office job or can get them a job that earns a decent wage. This is not aid, this is trade. It's a business, but our objective is to use this business to change the lives of people as well. We want the lives of people working here to be positively affected. People have to be treated as humans. You have to have faith and trust in your workers as well and believe in them. End of the day, managers doesn't do any sewing. They are there to guide the teams. We try to look at the entire life of our worker, not only limited to when they are in our premises. The salary that we pay is far more than what the minimum wage prescribed. We provide for attendance. The more you show up to do your work, to improve on your skills, the more money you make. We provide transportation. We provide you the free lunch. We also don't want you to spend your money in terms of your own health care. That's providing you the health cover. And if you look at this entire thing, it gives you the opportunity for you to be able to invest your salary and your child's education and also in your future. My mom is a farmer, my dad is a farmer. My hometown is a village. I've been with Dignity DTRT for two good years now. Most of the people in the production floor, some are not been to school but they will take you to a training process to tell you how to do it. I'm able to take care of my sister to go to school and complete like I do. I'm able to go to continue my education again. It's not every company who can give you water, give you, pay you by the end of the month, give you food, transportation, attendant bonus, incentives. It's not every company who can do that. Ghana has a high unemployment ratio, primarily among the youth. The apparel industry provides a very good platform for skilled acquisition and direct employment. This is a really empowering to women. Now they can work and make their own money and decide as to how they want to spend it. If they want to save, if they want to set up a trade, whatever it is, they now have the power to make their own choices. And that is liberating. You take people who have no skills, who have no formal education, and subject them to a few weeks or months of training, and they are good enough to be able to stitch to the quality standards required in the US. A person like that can now have a career path. I came in as a normal person. I thought I'd be sewing, but the manager here introduced me to quality. He showed us the step to follow, to indicate what is good and what is bad. And now I'm the supervisor. I encourage and educate people to check with passion, check for the future of their company because we want a factory to grow. Now I'm able to save for school and help my parents, especially my mom, helping my siblings when they need something. So this is another way of looking at making profit. I think if people are well treated and they feel satisfied, that in itself results in higher efficiency, higher productivity, you ship more containers, you make more returns, and then there is more you can do to expand the business, to recruit more, and then the rippling effect could be felt. The wages that a worker at DTRT can make are good enough to support a family of five to seven. When you're talking about adding 1,500 workers in one year, that can really have an impact on an economy and on a society like Ghana. We are the biggest manufacturer in West Africa already. There is no other factory that is operating at that scale today in all of West Africa. Through DTRT and its partnership with Dignity Industries, Ghana has been put on the map already. This is just the beginning. We want to see more and more people recruited, more and more shipments made, more and more jobs created. And then the impact will be felt at a much larger scale, not just in a small corner in a crowd. So in just a short time period, we've gone from zero to 1,500 workers. Our goal 
is by 2020 to have 10,000 workers. And if we have 10,000 workers, that means there's an industry in Ghana employing probably 50,000 in ancillary services, etc. That kind of employment, coupled with the dollars that come in from exporting product to the U.S., has a real profound effect on the economy of Ghana. To an ordinary Ghanaian, this is an industry that is actually helping to lift people out of poverty. Your money would not only give you your yield back, but it is something that would make you proud. With an investment into DTRT, we can expand, produce more shares, export more shares, make more money, and engage more people. We want to bring more global brands to Ghana. We are talking to some of the major players in the industry that are generally very intrigued by an opportunity to source from Africa and to work with a company, of course, that can meet their needs. As more and more buyers turn their attention to Africa, they're naturally going to find us. And we are ready to expand and produce more for whoever wants to take advantage of that. Dignity DTRT has helped me a lot. It has really changed my life.